up to another episode of Ask Dr. Charles. Today, we have a video question from Superhero Man. Go ahead there, Superhero Man. Tell me your question. Dr. Charles, as you know, I am a superhero. Superhero? And because I'm a superhero, I need help catching bad guys. Bad guys. Perhaps there's a way I can hide a recording device and then listen to their conversations. And then, I will get them in the act. Those bad guys will never get away. I will catch them. So, can you help me, Dr. Charles? Well, I sure can. Oh, huh. goody. I have an idea. You know, I take this tape and we're going to hide it inside of a book. Oh, I got a video I'm going to show you how to do it. Yeah, that's going to be sneaky, and they'll never know. <laughs> Roll that video. First thing you're going to need is a big old book, like a dictionary. And you're going to need a tape recorder, of course. I got a little piece of cardboard that's just about the size of a page. Don't need that card. So take your tape recorder and put it over the cardboard. And we're going to trace. But we have to make it just a little bit bigger than the tape recorder is. Then we're going to take and cut it out. I'm using another piece of cardboard so I don't scratch my table. your dictionary, open it up, take your template, cut out a page, now repeat this process until the whole book is done. your book is hollowed out. Grab yourself two wires and your tape recorder. Turn the tape recorder over. Take the batteries out. Take a piece of tape. Tape the positive side to one of the batteries. Put it back where it was. Tape another wire on the negative side. Just like that. the back on. Might have to tape the back on. Now look at this. Hit play. Not working. But when you touch them together, it works. Off, on, off, on. You know, if there's only a way, I can make them automatically turn on under the book. But there's a way. What I have here is I grab two random pieces of metal and I tape the wires onto them. When I touch the metal together, it makes a tape recorder go. Now, if I could take a magnet and put it on one of the pieces of metal to make it touch, the tape recorder will go again. Only problem is, how am I gonna bury that under my book? On, off, on, off. Now, how am I gonna fit this in this big old book? Am I gonna to have to cut more pages out? That's gonna take a long time. It took me forever to cut those pages out. I have a solution for you. This here, I soldered on a magnetic reed switch. What's a magnetic reed switch? Well, here, I'll show you. What you're looking at here 
is a magnetic reed switch. Let me show you how it works. If you look inside this switch, you can see two pieces of metal. When you take a magnet and you put it next to the switch, the metal touches each other. When that happens, it allows electricity to flow through the circuit. It turns the switch on. That's called closing the circuit. Moving the magnet away opens the circuit. Now power can't get through. Thus, your tape recorder will turn off. Tape recorder on, tape recorder off. Tape recorder on, tape recorder off. <laughs> Just like before, I'm going to turn the tape recorder over, take the batteries out again, and then I'm going to tape my magnetic reed switch in, just like we did before. Tape one of the wires to the negative side of one of the batteries. Tape the other wire to the positive side of the other battery, just like before. Put the batteries back in the tape recorder with the tape side facing each other. After that, just close it on up. Turn it over. Now watch this. I'll hit record. Nothing happens. However, if I take this magnet and put it on here, it's recording. It can hear everything I say. It's recording. It can hear everything I say. <laughs> now let's take our tape recorder and we're going to put it in our hollow book. <laughs> We'll put it right up here. Hit record. And shut the cover. <laughs> now, when I put this magnet up here, it starts recording. <laughs> and no one knows. I'm going to spy on someone now. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hey, Grandpa, do you have any secrets you want to tell me? <laughs> tell me something. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is just a book. No, don't worry, it's just a book. I'm not recording you or anything. <laughs> you don't say, huh? Boom! <laughs> Hi! Hi, Grandpa! <laughs> I'm smart! <laughs> yeah. Let's listen to this. Huh? It's all muffled. I can't hardly hear him. It sounds like he's talking to a, a tube or a mask or something like that. I got an idea. I'm going to put a microphone in here. And then he'll be able to talk and I'll be able to listen to him. That's what I better do. You know, the problem with having a tape recorder inside this book is it's muffled. It's hard to hear. It's like talking to a guy with a mask on. Well, we can make a microphone, and maybe we can make that microphone so it can stick out of that book a little bit so nobody can see it. If you don't have a microphone, I can show you how to make one out of a speaker. But the speaker's going to be bigger, and it's hard to hide it. So let me show you. I just so happen to have a TRS phono plug lying around, so I'm going to use that. I don't have to use all three wires, unless I plan on recording in stereo, but I only have one speaker, not two. There are three wires. There are three rings on the plug. You need to find out which wire goes to which ring. If you want to record your audio to the left channel, simply find which of the three wires is connected to the tip of the plug, which is a plus and the other one will connect to the negative, which is the shield. And of course, to record to the right channel, you need to find the wire that goes to the ring, plus, and then the shield, negative. The colors don't mean anything, because there's no standard on this audio. However, if you have a meter, you can check that out. I find it easier to solder these connections, because when I put tape on it, it falls off all the time. Oh, by the way, uh, soldering irons are hot, especially if they're plugged in. So uh, don't, don't go suing the fat guy with an orange mask, just because you watch something on YouTube. Now let's go plug this in here, and let's see how it works. I'm talking through a speaker. I'm talking through a speaker. Don't be mad now, but that speaker we just made, I'm cutting it. It was just for demonstration only. That was just to show you that you could use a speaker instead of a microphone. But I'm going to install a microphone because it's a lot tinier. I'd have to bury that speaker in the book somehow. Now would you look at that? I stripped that cable so far down, we'll call it low profile. Low. Now we're going to take those wires on our real microphone, and we're just going to twist them. Twist, twist, twist. Twist and shout. 
That's what we do. Come on, baby, now. Come on, baby. When I solder that down, solder it down. Yeah. Solder. Put that solder on there. Got to get that on there. Even though you put solder on it, you should tape it. You don't want anything to touch anything. You might short it out. Can you hear me now? This is through a microphone. Can you hear me now? This is through a microphone. It's the moment we've been waiting for. Let's put our tape recorder back in our book. Uh, take a couple pages out there and make sure it fits. And I, I'm going to tape this microphone right here. Now I'm going to put some of the other pages down. Make sure we put our wires through there. There. I'm going to tape our wire for the magnetic read switch up here, away from the tape. Close the book. You can barely see it. You know if you had a little bit more time, you can cut this out a little bit and get that so nobody can see that microphone. And for the finishing touch, we're going to put that book cover back on. Oh, that's looking nice. Oh, looking nice. Don't mind me. I'm going to do some my book there for just a little bit. Uh, I'm just sitting on a chair. Need some rest, you see. I'll come back in a little bit for you. Recording you or anything. Because of that. Don't even think about it.